Hello, so you've clicked on this video because I am guessing that you are struggling to make some money in the early game, um, especially like an, an era before you earn that workshop or caravan or become a mercenary or anything like that. Um, you're losing money every day because you, you, you've got no sustainable income basically, you're just um, getting lump sums from quests and stuff. So I have found possibly the best money maker um, in the early game there is and it's super easy to do um, For the purposes of this video. I've made a new character. Um, I have clicked on complete random stuff I haven't leveled him at all. I'm on full realistic difficulty um, And the, the, there's three things that you'll need so the first thing you'll need is you'll need a shield So straight away the only thing I actually own I'll put one of these on I have a shield That's all I got um, and a blacksmith hammer because you won't be doing any flying. It's fine uh, the second thing you'll need is you'll need as many Imperial recruits as you can get. I say Imperial, um, and I'll explain that right now. The Imperial recruits um, are marginally better than any other non-Imperial factions recruits, um, or at least in the very least Vlan Vlandians. Um, and also, they're level 2. They also have shields. Um, the shields, you'll see why they're, they're, they're so necessary in a second, once we get to what I'm going to explain. But shields, they have shields. So... Whilst you're looking for this particular quest that you're about to do, um, find as many looters as you can and fight them to get as many Imperial infantrymen as you can. Because they're only tier 2, right? So they have shields. And that is huge. Vlanian recruits takes tier 3 to, until you at least get a shield. And I don't know about the rest of the factions, but because I've spent so much time with the Vlandians. Um, so the game starts you near here. Uh, what I've done is I've recruited as many Imperial recruits as I can, and I've made my way to a non-Imperial faction, which is which is all of these. The, this is the Imperial uh, factions, the North, West, and South Empires. Um, so you want to find yourself a non-Imperial faction. Now, I'm what I'm about to say has no basis with evidence, but what I've found is army of poacher quests are more common in non-Imperial fa um, non-Imperial faction cities than they are in Imperial faction cities. Um, I have no evidence to support that. It's just the way I've I, I, I've uh, I've discovered this, and also it's a margin of luck. So the quest you're going to be looking for, I found one in here at Prevent, is Army of Poachers. This quest is so 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 good. It is worth doing every time you see it, especially when you don't have a workshop, um, because of the money that you make from it. It, it, it completely. D destroys any other quest. There's no point doing any other quest in the game because this gives you so much money for what you do. It's so quick, easy, simple. Um, it all it takes is a bit of luck on your side, but it's not too bad, and I, I, as I'll explain. So the rundown of the quest is: you talk to this guy or any of the guys in in the cities. He'll say, "I'm having some trouble with poachers." He'll send you to a a nearby um, village which is one of these, it'll probably be one of these, very, very close by, and you have to fight some archers, and that's why the shields come in handy. So I'll explain the strategy once you're in, because obviously you, you only have 20 recruits with you, and they're kind of terrible. If you've, I've, I've been unlucky enough to find um, no, no looters, which is weird. You should be able to find some looters uh, before you find a quest like this. Um, it takes a bit of luck to find this quest. So I, this is the second time I've attempted this from starting a new game. I'm like, what, nine, ten days in. Um, and I went all the way around. I couldn't find a single one. On my second second go around, I found one here, which is pretty quick. Um, so yeah, I will jump into the quest to talk to this guy. Say, I am whoever. I need help. What can I do? Yep, no worries. I will kill them. Cool. Quest activated. You leave the area. He has sent me to Larnak. So let's leave and go to Larnak. All right. So the quest enable, um, wants you to fight at night. So you have to wait here for some time. Stop waiting. All right, so it's midnight. You can engage the poachers. I'm going to explain now because it's going to be quite hard to do when I'm in there. But what you want to do is you want to take as many of the shots from the archers as you can so you can get your guys in nice and close. It depends on the map, uh, the village map that you get. But preferably, you're the one with a shield most of the time. You only have a couple more guys with shields if you're lucky. So you need to be the one taking all the shots to draw the fire. So what you need to do is you need to lay your infantry out. You need to lay them in a loose formation or, or a line. It, it's up to you. It uh, depends on the map again. And you need to walk forward. You need to walk quite a, quite a distance from your team. And you need to sit by a, a tree and hold your shield up and crouch. 
and just draw as much of the fire as you can and then send your guys into charge. And once they get close enough, um, it'll be too late. The archers can probably maybe get a volley off and you will win the fight. One thing to note is to make a nice save um, before uh, before you fight, obviously, because if you lose, because it's quite easy to lose still, even with this, um, you are basically cheesing it. Alright, so for this map, I'm going to bring all the guys over to the house, so they're not uh, immediately getting shot at. I'm also going to go to the house, um, because my shield doesn't have the best hit points. Um, so, dismount your horse. You're going to try and draw as much of the fire as possible. Uh, put your guys in shield wall formation, which is 1, F3, F2. Once they're hidden behind the house. Now you're going to draw as much of the fire as possible. Alright, so now you're here. Just crouch behind the house. Make them miss as many shots as possible. Because my shield's not very good. Now send them into charge. So they're nice and close to me, but they won't draw their swords because they're terrible. And before it's too late, my guys are already on them. We've lost virtually none. And my guys should win this fight, hopefully. If we're lucky. We're getting through them. There's only a few left. A couple more to go. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so that's the quest done. We'll chase this guy off the map. He's already routed. You can press tab. It doesn't really matter about chasing them down as long as you complete the quest. And the quest itself will give you a thousand gold. You can also take the poachers as a uh, hostage. You can take them yourself. They're actually decent archers. Click done. And right, so this this is important. So the quest, they it drops you leather, right? That is 700 gold right there in just leather. Not even the bow and everything else that you earn. That is just the leather. So I'm just... For the purposes of this video, I'm going to leave this stuff. I don't need it. So you click done. The guy gives you a thousand gold, a thousand two hundred fifty in this case, and I've also got the leather. And you're so close to the uh, city, you just walk on back. You're going to move quite slowly because of all the leather. But you do the quest. You go to trade. You throw the leather in, and that's seven hundred fifty-one gold. So it, it it's so good for money. That was two thousand dinars, whereas most quests will give you six hundred. Um, and it's fairly easy to do. It takes a bit of luck. I recommend saving, as I, as I said before. Um, in that instance, it took me three attempts. I had to save back and, and load back again three times because my guys kept routing. So I devised a strategy of going to the houses. And once you go to the houses, again, it depends on the map. It's quite difficult. But it now it's now a lot easier from next time because obviously I've now got four more guys with shields. Um, so now it's easier for the next time. So it gets easier as you go, obviously, because you guys are leveling up and they're getting shields. Um, but it is it is super easy once you know how to do it. And also another thing to mention is leather changes from place to place. So obviously, I only got 700 for this place here. But uh, if you go, say, for over here, uh, you go to the city, it might be worth 200 apiece. Um, it depends on the city that you're, you're doing the quest in. But definitely look out for army of poacher quests in the early game. Um, this is a strategy that I've done. If you find something bad, just let me down, let, let me know down in the comments. Um, obviously, I had to do that fight three times, but it still worked. I still got it done. And yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.